Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, thank you, Representative Metz. Um, he said that we, we, we don't know what we don't know. I think we do know. We know that undocumented immigrants are not voting. We know that millions of votes were not illegally cast in the last election, contrary to what has been alleged out in the Twitter sphere. What evidence do you have that this is a problem that needs to be addressed and corrected with another bill? Mr. Chairman, thank you. Well, there have been incidents in other states that we know about. For example, in the state of Virginia, there was a recent article in the Washington Times about the county of Loudoun, Virginia, that has 350,000 residents, and they did a check, a cross-check between those who were excused from jury duty and the reason for that being non-citizenship status. And there were 9,000 uh, non-citizens that were excused from jury duty that shouldn't have been summoned for jury duty, but they were, their names were either came from the driver's license rolls or from the voter registration rolls. That's just one example. Um, there are other instances of this occurring. It's not occurring on a wide scale. I think most non-citizens don't try to register and don't try to vote, most of them, but with millions of them in the country and, uh, and an honor system employed on the federal form, there has to be some that are registering to vote, and there have been instances of that. There was an article in, on the media about one in a lady in Texas who was actually found to have registered in violation of the law, and they brought a criminal prosecution against her, and she's uh, been sentenced to prison for that. So it has happened. But again, we're not checking because we can't if, if the federal form is used. And that the purpose of this is to try to give states the ability to check that if the federal form is used. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, you mentioned r reports in the media, um, which sounds vague. Uh, you mentioned the Washington Times. I've never heard of the Washington Times. Are they a printed publication? Are they a legitimate publication? I, wh where, where is the data other than a blog post? Mr. Chairman, well, I mean, I'm not going to speak for the various publications. There are news articles. You could Google it and you could find the articles, and I could be happy to send you what I have after the meeting if you'd like to take a look at those. But these are anecdotal instances of when non-citizens have been found to have registered to vote. Um, there were efforts underway in Florida to check the integrity of our voter rolls but they were stymied by federal court decisions that cited these statutory provisions that denied access to the databases. So those efforts were somewhat frustrated. There were some cases of non-citizens who were registered to vote in Florida at that time. Not a huge number, admittedly, but again, without access to the database, we don't know what we don't know, and that's the whole problem. We're having to accept the federal form at face value, and you can't go behind it, and that's unlike the registration procedures that occur at the state level. Thank you, Lisa. Will you call the vote? Representative Zabruzzo? Albritton? Yes. Burton? Yes. Cumbie? Yes. Drake? Yes. Bant? Yes. Henry? No. Jacob? No. Latvala? Yes. Mariano? Yes. Newton? No. Pigman? Yes. Clayton? Yes. Rawshine? Yes. Rollerson? Yes. Rommel? Yes. Santiago? Yes. Smith? No. Doan? Yes. B. Watson? No. B. Watson? No. Wilhite? No. Williamson? Yes. Chair Caldwell? Yes. 16 yeas, 7 nays, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Lisa. Members, by your vote, will show House Memorial 825 reported favorably. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members, on all three bills. I appreciate it. Thank you, Chairman Metz.